Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limbal's product team. This video will walk you through the process of using our sample spreadsheet to quickly and efficiently import your vendors into Limbal. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limbal, your screen may look different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we get into the how-to, let's touch on some important best practices. You can import up to 500 vendors and 50 fields into Limbal in a single import. If you need to import more, batch your data into separate import files. We provide a sample spreadsheet, also known as the sample import file, that can be used to set up your fields and make importing easier. The spreadsheet includes sample rows to show you how to populate each field. You should remove those examples and fill them in with the correct data for your import. Within the spreadsheet, hovering over a column name will show you an explanation of what it's for and how you need to format the data to import properly. Field types such as text, number, or currency cannot be edited once created, so it's best to set up your fields with the correct field type in Limbal first before your bulk import. If you misspell a column name for an existing field that's already in Limbal, the system may bypass the intended field match and create an additional custom field, so be sure to double check that you've spelled everything as intended. Be mindful of formatting mistakes. If something is formatted incorrectly in your spreadsheet, you'll receive an error message about what went wrong, but checking for errors before you upload will save you any hassle. Photos, documents, or files of any kind cannot be bulk imported due to the limitations of CSV files. You can add your files manually once your import is complete. We recommend you do a test run with a small data set before attempting a large import. This gives you the opportunity to make sure your data is being imported correctly and everything looks as it should. And finally, be patient with the system. If you're importing a large data set, it will take the system some time to process the information. Before performing a bulk import, make sure any custom fields are set up in Limbal first. Field types such as text, number, or currency cannot be edited once created, which is why we recommend doing this within the system. To do this, navigate to the Manage Vendors page, click on the Edit Visible Columns icon, and click Add Column. Name your desired field. In this example, I want to add secondary contact as a field for my vendors. Then select your field type. I'll use the text type. Then click Create. When I configure my fields in the import file, I'll add secondary contact as a custom field. We'll cover this again in just a bit. Now let's set up the import file. On the Manage Vendors page, click on the Import Export button from the toolbar in the top right corner. From the new dropdown, select Import Vendors. You will be taken to a new window with a list of instructions. Download the spreadsheet by clicking on Sample Import File. Open the file. Do not remove or change required fields. For vendors, the vendor name must be filled out for your import to be successful. This is what your vendor will be called in Limbal. Now let's take a look at the optional fields. Limbal offers contact, email, phone, and address as default fields so they're included in the file. If you don't need this information, simply delete the columns you don't want from your import file. Remember that you can hover over the column name to learn more about the field and how to format your data. The final field is optional custom fields. You can use and duplicate this field to import information for fields you already have set up in Limbal. If you don't have any custom fields to include, you can delete this column. Since we set up secondary contact as a field in Limbal earlier, now I can enter that field in my spreadsheet and import my information. I'm going to change the name of this field to secondary contact and enter my data in the rows below. Make sure to double check that you've spelled the field name exactly as you have it in Limbal. Spelling errors will bypass the intended field match and create an additional custom field. Once you've added your data, you're ready to upload. On the Manage Vendors page, navigate back to the Import screen again by clicking the Import Export button and choosing Import Vendors from the dropdown. Click Upload File, select your file, and then click Open. If your spreadsheet has any errors, Limbo will define where those are and what you need to do to fix them. If no errors exist, your import will begin. In the new window, you can click on the blue text to see a list of all of the vendors being imported. 
When you're ready to proceed, click Confirm. Now your vendors will be added to Limble. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can visit our Help Center anytime for lots of great information about the importing process, reach out to our support team, or talk to your Limble CSM to learn more.